I'm Robert Vincent for BurbankUSAGlobal.com, and today we're at Bob's Big Boy in Burbank Toluca Lake, California, and we're with the Road King. It's their 60th anniversary as a club in Burbank. We're going to talk to some of the guys, some of the original members, and check out these beautiful cars. I'm here with Don Baldessaroni, and Don, besides being a past president, you're the publicity director for the club, is that correct? That's correct, it is. Mm -hmm. So this is the 60th anniversary of the Road Kings in Burbank? 60 years in Burbank of racing and rotting, and it's a, what a great event it's going to be tonight. It really is. I'm checking some of the cars out already. Beautiful cars. We're going to talk to some original members out here. We have people, actually, uh, one guy flew out from Chicago. He's going to be here tonight. Wow. And uh, we have our famous Bob Moravis, our Maytag repairman here tonight Very that nice. actually had to go with a pseudo name to Drag Race. Oh, and he was one nice. of the original members of the Road Kings, and I think you'll be talking to him a little bit later. Absolutely, we will. Uh -huh. What's well, going to be nice, too, because after this, we're going to uh, step over to Johnny Carson Park, where you guys have like 700-plus cars, correct? Oh, so yeah, every bit of 700 cars. And we'll also have 10 top fuel nostalgia cars. Uh, we just have so much. It's too much even to talk about. You'll just have to be there to see it. It's going to be pretty amazing, guys. So we're going to start over here at Bob's. We're going to head over to the park and check out hundreds and hundreds of cars. And again, we'll talk to more guys from the club. It's a great event. So follow us through. I'm here with Bob Moravis, one of the first initiated into the club. Well, it's sort of. I, me and a guy named Don Perdon were initiated into the Road Kings in 1957. Wow. And the club was five years old at the time. That's pretty awesome being one of the original members. Well, you know, back in the days in the 50s and that stuff, there was a way of um, the car clubs fill the need to get the right. kids from killing people on the streets. Right. Well, back then, it's the whole American graffiti era. Yes, it was a great year, for, yep. very much so. And so tell me about, what are you doing now? What did you race? I uh, Basically, I started out with a, a, a double B gas dragster with my partner, Don Gady, and then the second partner was a guy named Ed Janke, also a club member of the Road Kings, another double B gas dragster, and then... Uh, I got hired by a bunch of guys over in Santa Monica for a car called the Quincy Automotive Twin Engine Car, which went on to become um, a car called the Freight Train, and we set all the top gas records, all the wow. first 180, 190, and we still hold the record for 215 miles an hour on top gas. That is pretty amazing. Yeah, pretty amazing stuff. What are you doing with yourself these days? Uh, well, all along the type of thing, even since I was uh, 10 years old in 1948, I've been a Maytag repairman right here in Burbank. And just this last March was my 64th year fixing a washing machine. And you're still doing that? I'm still doing it. God bless you for that. Well, I gotta, can't have a lot of naked people running the streets. You've got to have clean clothes. At least around here? Everywhere. <laughs> it's been great talking to you, Bob, and we're going to check out some more of these cars. And thank you for your time, and we're going to be seeing you in the future. You, you, you can bet on that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm here with Cliff McCool, and speaking of cool, let's check out this 41. Exactly what is this? I don't want to pretend I know. It's a 41 Willys Coupe, slightly modified. Slightly, that blower is huge. <laughs> it's a 1071 blower on a 540 inch Chevy engine. Unbelievable. So for safety's sake, I see all the buckles and everything going, how fast will this car go? 55 miles an hour. <laughs> okay, pretend we're off the record. <laughs> 55 miles an hour. <laughs> now, how long have you been working on this car? Uh, it was a four year project. Wow. Uh, from the ground up, and uh, I love her. I drive her everywhere. So I have to ask, because people are going to want to know, there's a lot of hours and a lot of dollars. What do you think you have invested in here? No oh, comment. Can you say that in front of your wife? No, I can't. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's worth <laughs> But, you know, it's worth the price. It is a beautiful vehicle, and, uh, you know, we really appreciate you talking to us, and we're going to see you probably over at Johnny Carson Park next. That's right, yes. Pretty awesome. Thanks so much, Cliff. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for coming over with us to Johnny Carson Park where the celebration continues with the Rhodes King's 60th birthday party. We're going to be talking to some dignitaries, some hot rodders, some of the crowd, and see some beautiful cars. So come on, check it out with us. I'm here with Pete Eastwood, part of the Ed Pink racing team. That was pretty amazing what just happened here. Yeah, this is, uh, this, this is a 1965 top fuel dragster. It was originally built by Ed Pink and Don Long. It won the first Mickey Thompson 200 mile an hour Invitational in 1965, and it won the uh, 1965 Fremont Spring Championships. Actually, at all all of those races, it it, it runnered up to Garlitz at Bakersfield, and then it beat Garlitz in the finals nice. at, at the other two races. So it had a really good r race record. I got to mention to you, I was just 
for the people that don't realize this, just how small this is, one person getting in here, and now there's nothing really protecting you. It's amazing. Yeah, just a fire suit and a shoulder harness, a seat belt and a helmet and a pair of goggles. And a baby little roll bar, which is... Yeah, which you're kind of sitting up and out of. And how fast will this go? This car, in the, in its day, it ran uh, like 720s, 205, back in 1965. It's pretty amazing. It, uh, well, Ed Pink and Don Long both went on to be the, the top in their professions, chassis builder and engine builder. And uh, they've, they're both still at it. Ed's 80, Don Long's 71, and they're both still building, Ed's still building engines, Don's still building race cars, That's and they're, awesome. they're still the best in their class. That's pretty amazing. Thank you so much, Pete. You bet. I'm here with Vice Mayor Emily Gabaletti. What a pretty nice event this is today with the Road King 60th. This is absolutely stunning event. I was looking for the car that I grew up with, and I haven't quite found it yet, but I found the right year. What would that be? A 1957 Chevy, column stick, wow. with a post. So it wasn't a Bel Air, and it wasn't a 210, it was a 150. It was the bottom of the line at the time, but my family bought it, and my mother drove it with a lead foot. So I'm going to keep looking. That's pretty impressive. So you didn't come here on this little vehicle right here? Oh, my gosh. This is an amazing vehicle. I heard, just heard the demonstration of it, and they were making the, I guess he called it the carburetor, and it was making a lot of noise. And these things are really fast. Someone told me yep. quarter mile in six seconds, which yep. is amazing. Nowadays, they're over 300 miles an hour. That's incredible. I can't believe it. Someone said 6,000 horsepower, and I'm just stunned. But I did learn one thing. This little jack, this little jack in the box down. Oh, there we go. Hey, you can't beat the Road King show, so come on out. Thanks, Vice Mayor. Well, that gives you a brief look into the Road King 60th birthday party. Talked to some nice folks, saw some beautiful cars, and heard some crazy loud ones with up to 8,000 horsepower nowadays. That one was in 1965, was 1,800 horsepower approximately, and now they were saying they're up to 8,000. It's incredible. It's been a wonderful day here at Johnny Carson Park. Congratulations and happy birthday to the Road Kings. I'm Robert Vincent for BurbankUSAGlobal.com.